Hi everyone, it's uh, Tuesday the 30th of January, about take 14, 15, Jack's here, Tobin was here, Tobin's gone away because Tobin couldn't stop talking and chewing and slurping. <laughs> so, Tobin has finished his drink and gone upstairs. So, bit of blanket progress. I am now around 67. I was on, what, 65 yesterday. So I finished that up. This is the second row of uh, variegated I've done. Uh, we've got some, if you can see, some front post trebles here. Um, and some shaping, and then it goes to a point here. So I am now delivering this on Saturday to Paul's Grand. It's not for his gran, it's for some some relative sort of further down the line, I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, oh, I can't even get it in a quarter of it now. It's big, it's heavy, it's lovely. Um, so yes, I need to get this finished, hopefully by oh, about Thursday, I would think, so I can get it washed. And uh, I'm not going to be able to block it because I haven't got... Uh, mats enough or floor space enough in a room that won't get used so unless I lay it out all day Friday <clears throat> excuse me so my throat sounds a little scratchy then um so yes I need to put some I always say put some serious work into it but I kind of call this serious work already um so yes, it's just such a lot of fabric this it's just everywhere um <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna carry on with that. Uh, I've done quite a bit of work on it today. Uh, I went to the gym this morning after I dropped the boys off. Um, came home and just grabbed my purse and nipped straight back out to Tesco because we needed of course bread and milk. I got Paul some coffee. If anyone in the UK drinks um, Azira, like the cappuccino and I think it's the latte as well, sachets. Um, they're on half price, it's £1.50 at the minute. So go and get those. Uh, I went to look because there was supposed to be some fairy fabric softener on offer. It wasn't. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, I was all excited. I mean, I not long bought some, but I thought for that price, I'll go and get some. So never mind. But getting his coffee cheap though is it's always good because he insists on having it and it's quite expensive. Um, what else did I do? I came home. Started crocheting. Um, I'm f I think I'm fairly caught up on videos. I watched Catherine um, crafting new treats, uh, colour pooling podcast <clears throat> today. I think that was a week or so old, and now I'm watching her kitchen helmets videos because <laughs> she's having the kitchen ripped out, or oh, it's already ripped out. She's having it put back in now. Um, oh, I haven't watched many more YouTube videos today really. Um what did I watch this morning? I'm trying to think if I watched one this morning or if I because I came home and sat for a bit before I had some lunch. My hair is really misbehaving but it's been cut tomorrow. So it won't be there to misbehave thankfully. Uh, I watched um on recommendation from a couple of people actually uh, who have been watching um to watch Frankie and Grace with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. So I think there's like four series now on Netflix. So I've watched the first two episodes. I watched a bit yesterday and finished that off today and then watched the second one. I really quite like it. Um, if you don't like swearing or stuff, don't watch it. There's not massive amounts of swearing, but um, there's enough to, you know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Um, but yeah, it's quite good. And I mean, how gorgeous is Jane Fonda? She's amazing. Amazing. Beautiful lady. Um, and she was beautiful when she was younger, for 70 something. She's amazing. And Lily Tomlin's just awesome. I want to be like her. <laughs> That's the kind of older lady I want to be. Just. I don't want to sit in the middle of a table making weird yoga noises, but she's just awesome. And I finished a book today. This is, do you remember I bought this ages ago? Ages ago. And, uh, what did I read? I read the Dawn French one. I can't remember if I read something in between. And then this has been 
uh, bathroom reading for when I'm doing my teeth in the morning and at night because I brush for two minutes and it's uh, pretty much that's the only time I sit still and read. So I actually brought this down this morning and finished off instead of crocheting before the kids went to school. So I like it. I mean, uh, most of you have probably seen the film. That was made, what, mid-80s? Late 80s, possibly. Um, we watched that film to death. We watched it loads. And it always made me cry when the horse... You know, in case you've not watched it. <laughs> so... Um, and someone, I was watching someone's video and they were talking about the book and how it's very different from the film. Or how it follows... There's a lot more in the book than there is the film. And seriously, the film part of the book probably ends like there. Uh, and then all the rest of this is what happens after. And it's good. Um, so the the film kind of ends, or, or where it ends, you don't see what happens after he gets home and kind of his adventures and stuff. But that's not how it happens. There's a lot more goes on. He he stays in. In the film, it's called Fantasia. In the book, it's called Fantastica. And the <laughs> the power he gets given from the childlike empress it takes him on his journey and his wishes and what happens to him and how he gets back to because obviously he gets all these wishes and he wishes to be someone completely different from the fat geeky kid he was in the human world so he makes himself strong and brave and blah, blah. and every time he does that he loses a part of his memory and then he can't go back and he has to it's he has to sort of learn to love who he was um in the human world and that's how he'd get back and if not he'd be lost forever so it's very good um lots of it's this you can see why they adapted it um i don't quite know why they cut off so much of this whether they plan to you know make more. I know they've made Never Ending Story 2 and 3 but it's not no it's not this um, but yeah there's lots of cool creatures in it and stuff so I can I could see that that would have been great fun to do probably quite hard but it would have been fun so yeah finish that so I need to uh, finish reading uh, Randy's book on my Kindle uh, I'll link to Randy's um, author page and stuff on Amazon so go check her out if you're um, well, you read the synopsis of her books and see if that's something that appeals to you. Um, I can't think how far I am. I'm probably about 30-40% into the first book. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I need to... Well, I picked another book to go <laughs> in the bathroom. Uh, I was I started reading the seventh school degree pleasant book, but I just finished reading the sixth and I think I needed a break. That's what I'd read in between school degree book but I needed a bit of a break before reading another one straight away so went on to never ending story um, so I'll pick that up again I do like school degree pleasant and uh, Tobin's read one or two I think now I think I've got up to book eight so he'll be well away um, he's just finished another hip of his library books well he's finished two actually then he's finished another couple of books at school he had um, they test them <coughs> excuse me on their reading age and he's nine years and four months actually <coughs> it's nine years and five months today <laughs> um, and his reading age is 10 years and 11 months or something like that so he's doing really well um yes if any like i said at the weekend he'd bring his planner home i could write it down and he'd get merits for it or credit of house points or whatever but you can only tell him so many times can't you um that's what i wanted to talk about points sorry you know i mentioned the pocket money app for the kids the other day well i was thinking about other apps and stuff we use that um people might find helpful so if you're not particularly interested in you know apps and stuff for kids please feel free to save yourself some time or whatever I don't know um, we use an app called dinner time plus 
uh, it's free. There's a there's a free version. There's a paid version, which I think Paul has got, but I haven't. But it, it we're still linked um, and stuff. And I think the paid version means you can put notes on for the kids, but I'm not bothered. But it monitors their tablets for you. I'm not quite sure how you link it all up because Paul did it. But you link to their tablet, and you can see what they've. You can see what apps they've been on, how long they've been on them. Um, you can set time limits. You can pause it so they it just stops their tablet and sort of says, "Take a break." And with Paul's paid version, you can put, "You need to do this," or you know, "Come down," or whatever. But I find pausing their tablets is enough to make them appear. My tablet's not working. Yeah. So they have a time limit set on theirs per day. And then it's quite handy for when they go, but I haven't reached my limit, I haven't been on, on it for that long. And you go into your app and go, actually, you were on YouTube for this long, you're playing this game for that long. Um, that's really handy. So I will link, I'll put a, a link below. Um, this is on Android. I don't know if it's available on iOS. It may well be. Most stuff tends to be on both now, doesn't it? I don't know if there's an American equivalent, but in the UK it's helpful if you it's, it's like you can monitor them but not overly heavily you don't know what they're watching on YouTube but you can restrict certain apps um, so they can't be on it for, for so long or, or just put a daily time limit on so they have um, a time limit for weekdays and then they have slightly longer at the weekends because they like to watch it in the mornings but now they can watch on the telly they don't need it as much and then um, Another thing I thought of, for anyone with kids of school age, have you heard of Stamptastic? Now I know most of you probably will have, so it's just say shut up Kim. But we use, um, we bought a stamp for the boys, um, just because I was sick of buying and ironing in or sewing in labels with their names on. So it's basically a perspex block, perspex block with, you can have the full name on it, I was cheap and just bought one that said banner <laughs> so I can use it for both of them and then they send you an ink pad with it so you but we have to buy the block and the ink pad separately but you can have like you can put Tobin banner and then have a little football or a, there's, there's several different like little designs you can pick from to have on there as well so you can you know completely personalize it um, and the the ink pad and I think I paid well, I got it when it was on offer, but I think the blocks themselves are about £10. And then the ink is £12 or something like that. But then I got some money off it. <clears throat> I think it worked out about £13 all in all, because it was a really good offer. Um, and you can, it's linked, you can get codes for your PTA, so that every time you order, they get a small, you know, uh, commission or a, something. They get, you know, they benefit from you using it. And you basically stamp onto clothing labels and that's it, you're done. It's like two seconds to label the uniform. So when you've got, what, 15 pieces of uniform per kid per week, it's, you know, that's a heck of a lot of labels. So it's very handy. It goes in coats and shoes and the only thing I've not really tried on is... Um, I can't really use it on as their water bottles because they're not flat. But you can stamp it on plastic. Uh, I don't know how it would stand up to, you know, going on a lunchbox in a dishwasher or whatever. But I've not had any come off any of their clothes yet or fade or anything. So I highly recommend Stabtastic. I'll put a link to them below. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to think if I can... Anything else useful? Probably not. <laughs> um, so, yeah... Oh, I'll tell you what I might stick in, um, not kid related, but um, I get an email every day from a place called BookBub, I think it's BookBub, and they will tell you, it sends you, you know, a daily email with uh, any Kindle books that are either free or on offer for that day, and just takes you straight to your Amazon account, and you can purchase the books, and if you don't want it linked to your Amazon account, and you see a book you want and just go you know look at the title and, or the author and go to amazon yourself but i'm linked up with it and it's fine it's there's no money exchanged or anything like that um, 
but yeah that's quite good so you get to to know about deals that aren't necessarily on the because I get the Kindle daily deal sent to me by Amazon anyway but there's other books that aren't on that um, so yeah that's quite handy as well oh hints and tips from Kim today aren't you lucky <laughs> Right, well, I'm going to go because my tea's going cold. I'm going to do some more work on the blanket. Um, Jack's on his tablet with his headphones on. Oh, he's away. You alright, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe. Um, so, yeah, I will wrap it up and get this on the computer. Don't think I'll have anything else to say today, as it will just be tea and watching telly later. Nothing mega exciting. So I hope you're all well. Hope you've had a good day. So haircut tomorrow. Dentist Thursday. Mm. New dentist as well. I hope he doesn't decide to be all, you know. I think it's a he. I hope he doesn't decide to do anything too much. I just want to check up. Nothing's hurting. <laughs> Which usually means they'll do something and then it will hurt. But. Um, yeah. So uh, I hope you had a lovely day. I hope you've got something nice planned for tomorrow. Hump day, isn't it? Wednesday. Right, I will actually go and see you all again soon. Bye, guys.